Hi, my name is Marvin and welcome to another episode of the Global Citizenship. Hi, I'm Clemen. I'll be co-hosting for today. I'm a big fan of Ishikawa. <laughs> and in today's guide, we're going to be showing you some trendy places of what you can do at Kanazawa. But first up, we'll be introducing where we are right now, the, the Linias Hotel. Like Hui Ming just recently said, we are going to introduce one of the most trendy hotels which is known as Linus in Kanazawa, which is the site of a very, very famous hostel that attracted a huge number of foreigners into this area. Now the reason why we're introducing this hotel is because it's a relatively new place and it's a combination of both a hostel and a hotel. And right here, you have many things to do such as the following. They have an open shared kitchen and living space where you're able to socialize with other guests. My personal experience of staying here was that I was able to meet the friendly staff like Rimi, Kazuki, Chichi, and Aki. I saw a few YouTuber workshops, made a few new friends like Taro and Jiho, and joined in their gym in the upper floors. It really is a social hostel with a regular meetup event, and it is turning into a community hub for sure. And of course, for all those fitness freaks that are living overseas, so you want to be able to come to Japan and enjoy its food, but try to maintain your games while you're here. Anyway, that's all for now in terms of our recommended stays in this um, in Kanazawa. Let's go see what you can possibly eat that we consider are trendy. One of the first few cafes that we recommend in this trending Kanazawa guide is a place called the Cafe Tamong, which is just in the outskirts of Higashi Chaya. So if you've seen my previous guide about um, Kanazawa before, you know exactly what Higashi Chaya is uh, famous for. So they serve this amazake um, as complimentary before the pancakes. Mmm. Oh my gosh. It's really good amazake. It's really sweet and it's really thick. Even compared to the Yujama Nakia The reason why we recommend this place in particular is because not only they have breakfast options in the fluff, fluff, fluffy pancake option, but they also have what Kanazawa is famous for, which is specifically the golden pancakes. The golden pancakes. The Ishikawa is known as the marshlands of gold, and so therefore it's, it's obviously very, very um, suitable for them to be able to make gold plated pancakes. Um, so this is the, I've ordered over here the Eggs Benedict. I'm not going to have the golden pancake as of yet, but it looks quite delicious indeed. But let's just see how it tastes. <sighs> it's indeed very, very fluffy. And something is made from Japanese pancakes for sure. But let's just see how it tastes. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. The melted cheese. The melted cheese instantly hits your taste buds so, so well. I haven't had like decent eggs benedict in Japan for such a long time, but man, I'm glad. I'm glad that this is very, very tasty indeed. Look, again, if you're looking for a pancake place in the Gashi Chap, this is the place to go to. It's called Cafe Tomon. Check it out when you're here. So if you don't know this by now, we're in the outskirts of what they call the 21st Century Art Museum. It's known to be one of the most Instagrammable places in Ishikawa or the Kanazawa city. It's also the site of where um, most people take the pictures of the swimming pool. The swimming pool exhibition where people were looking up at this particular reflection. Another place that's quite trendy to eat within the proximity of this museum is the inside interiors, being the cafe itself. So if you're looking for something to eat besides also pancakes, this is an also an additional place for you to go to. So this is where the grounds of what they call the Tattep Machi. The reason why it's also considered to be one of the Kanazawa's trendy places is because the line right in these streets is where the vintage fashion as well as the many shops that exist specifically for the younger crowd in Kanazawa. But the one thing that also um, that captures our attention really is the newest exhibit that actually happened here right in Kanazawa which is owned and directed by a gentleman named Kentaro Hayashida. The reason why um, he made this particular place, which is the Kamu Art Museum, is because he was inspired by the creation of the 24 Art Museum. Through that inspiration, he saw the power of art bringing people of different nationalities to bring them forth in the center of Kanazawa. In Kanazawa, there are four different spots, but this is the first. This is one of the main spots right here in Tate Machi. Entrance to this place is only 1,100 yen. Check it out when you're here. One of my local friends from Kanazawa has actually recommended this restaurant called The Godfather Burger, just located okay, just in Karimbo. Um, we've been recommending to go to this place by Keiji. Thank you very much for this recommendation for Godfather Burger. Well, I've ordered specifically the avocado double fried egg cheeseburger. Um, and we've just been told that you should not add any sauce condiments because it's been seasoned quite, quite well. And then consume it from here. Look at that. Right. 
Definitely, you, she's right. You definitely do not need to season the burger. It has the adequate spices and herbs. The adequate spices and herbs. Um, that runs through the flavor of the patty itself. Indeed. Um, well, I guess the many people that are watching this stuff and go to Japan, you're probably thinking, it's like, why, why go to Japan and eat a burger? When you have special meats in Japan, where it's like Wagyu, Kobe beef burgers and the, the way that they feed the cows and the, and the cattles here in Japan um, the, the flavors that they produce from the meat differs from country to country I got something called the shiso smash because I really like shiso um, the menu is actually really amazing it's like so many different cocktails and they classify according to different things right, so right. this one's a sour type um, so it's made of shiso, I can see why um, gin. Yeah, it's mixed with gin. So it's a really interesting mix of both um, Westernish and Japanese flavors. The France bar sits in the ninth bar district in between Katamachi and Korimbo, and is within walking distance from that of the Samurai district. It is one of the few bars that incorporates monthly art and music events in order to bring forth a younger crowd into the scene. The owners were absolutely friendly, and because of their trilingual abilities, the language barrier played no part in that evening. But even then, the people that came into the place were absolutely friendly. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching our trendy Kanazawa guide. Proudly brought to you by the team at the Global Citizenship, and proudly supported by the Ishikawa Tourism Agency. Many thanks to everyone who have assisted in the creation of this guide. Until next time, see you.